the International League for Protection of Horses are working for a world where horses are used but never abused. And we do that in a variety of ways worldwide. Firstly, in Britain, we rescue and rehabilitate and rehome horses in our four farms here with the help of our 16 field officers scattered around the country. We also go to the developing world. We have five operations at any one time, not dealing directly with horses, but training the poor horse user, who is both ignorant and overworked, how to get the best out of his horse, thus improving the life of the user, the owner, and the horse itself. And thirdly, we campaign, mainly in Europe, to prevent the hideous trade of horses being taken alive over many hundreds of miles for slaughter. We stopped that in England in 1937, and it hasn't started since, and we're now trying to stop it in Europe as well. The ILPH is definitely not a sanctuary for horses. We're a rehabilitation centre, so every animal that we pick up, regardless of its circumstances, we try very hard to integrate it back into a useful working life, whether that be as a riding or a driving pony. We then rehome them to members of the public, which have been vetted by our field officers to make sure they can provide the care and attention required, by rehoming them, it allows us room to bring in more animals. The vast majority of horses and ponies that we pick up is actually through ignorance. Sometimes it can be a change of circumstance. Somebody who does know how to look after them for whatever reason no longer has the funds. And they get very attached to the animal and sometimes become a little blinkered to the fact that the animal is actually suffering. When horses arrive here at Hall Farm, they are often emaciated, severely underweight and riddled with lice. It's very satisfying working at the RPH when you see a horse that has come in in an appalling condition, then to come right um, and be out in the field enjoying life when it's had such a bad start, especially sometimes some of the younger horses. Our main aim really is we are prevention rather than cure. What we are trying to do is show the people a better way to manage their animals so that they can use them to a greater effect. We look at uh, countries in the developing world and see where there is immediate problems. What we are looking for is to try and assist and help the peasant farmers or the working farmers in those countries to make a better life for their families and their working animals. To do this, we look at doing a five-year project. We would start with the Ministry of Agriculture, visit the veterinary faculties, select an in-country coordinator, and then look around the complete country where possible, going into the villages, the townships if necessary, and find out what actually is the problems. Once we have decided to do a project, the project will last for a minimum of five years and we would do one course each year. The, each course will consist of four modules. When the fourth module is completed in that year, what we do is select the best students from that course and they become back on the, they come back on the next course as assistant instructors, building up a nucleus of instructors for that country. Once we have fully trained them over the five-year period, they become the actual instructors for that country, which then makes it completely sustainable, and they carry on our work. What we don't do is actually supply materials outside that country. We must source leather, we must source fibre, we must sh uh, source metal that the students can make horseshoes. In some countries we actually teach them to tan leather because they have no skills and they use nylon sackings uh, on harnesses which actually burn horses. All the, the stuff required for shoeing and harness making must be sourced from in country because we will not be there all the time bringing this, these supplies in for them to work on. They must be able to get them ready available. And we continually visit these countries once we complete a project to actually monitor it to see if they need further help. It becomes very rewarding once you go into a country and there is very, very poor, very, very backward. They have no knowledge of shoeing horses properly or working harness. And at the end of a project, when you see the work that has been achieved, it is very, very rewarding. We want to have an impact on thousands of horses, not just one or two. And this is essential to supporting our activities in the UK and overseas. 
The ILPH works on a number of campaigns. These include campaigning to end the long-distance transport of horses for slaughter, working to improve animal welfare legislation both in the UK and across Europe, and we're also currently involved in a new project in Romania working to impact upon one million horses right across the country. We're working to improve welfare through education in terms of the veterinary profession, working at every level, working with the government to look at legislation and enforcement issues, linked to general welfare standards for horses, but also impacting on the slaughter and transport trade. So it's working at every level right across the country. There are many ways that people can help. Um, for example, writing letters to the press or to their local politicians to raise the awareness of certain issues and ask for support on key campaigns to improve the welfare of horses. How do we fund ourselves? Mainly by the generosity of the general public who see what we do, love what we do and support what we do financially. And people are welcome to come along, have a look round, buy themselves a cup of coffee and learn more about us.